Welcome to BeerAmerica.tv and happy 2009. Uh, I'm here with John Pinkerton and I'm Paul Leone and Chris, Chris Lady is with us and Chris is with us and he likes to join us on occasion but if you saw our episode about our favorite beers of 2008, Chris kind of fibbed a little bit, right? I mean it, it was a very, one of your top beers. A little bit, just a little uh, bit. With the local one but, but really Today we're here to talk about what beer you would have picked if you could have gotten a hold of it for that night. So go ahead and tell us what you got. Um, this, uh, my, the beer that I would have picked would have been uh, Session Lager. Uh, it's actually out of uh, Oregon, and uh, I, at the time, at, at the turn of the year, uh, I was not able to uh, procure it. It's not here in the Savannah market uh, at the time. Uh, and uh, I was able to make a little trip and pick some up, and I figured I'd share it with you two gentlemen. Um, I know you've had it before, but Paul, you're... I'm a newbie to most of these beers. Yeah. I mean, Did we uh, mention that it's brewed by Full Sail Brewing Company? Oh, I don't think so. I mean, not. Full Sail Brewing Company, Johnny. And, uh, and, and it's cool. Is it always, to your knowledge, been in these cool little bottles? I it, mean, uh, from what I know, it has been. And, uh, <laughs> little it's a wee beer. It's a wee beer. But it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it looks interesting. Yeah. Um, it, what's, what's different about it is, you know, a lot of beers that we talk about are, you know, big beers, big full beers that have tons and tons of flavor, big that bottles, are beer, big bottles corked. that, you know, cork that John shoots all over the place. But, um. <laughs> You know, this beer is kind of back to another style of brewing that a lot of people take as you know for granted that it's you know kind of a, a different style of beer that now this is not a twist off wait, wait, for wait. me it is uh -huh. but, uh, <laughs> for me it is not for any of you guys uh -huh. but uh, I know you need a uh -huh. bottle opener most of you but hey, hold it up let's take All a right, look at it hold it right this. up this hold it, hold it, hold it right up this let's see what it looks like here ready ooh it's a lighter in color. That's a beaut. It's a beaut. Nice Clark. golden color. It's a beaut, hon. How's that? For you. Thank you, sir. And that would be for me. Thank you. Yeah, I think uh, the, the bottles are actually a little again, bit smaller. Not than a the twist average. off, but for me it is. So, there you go. so David, of course, David's behind the camera. David, is that all right? Oh, in a little closer. That's good. Is that good? Oh, oh, oh there. More beer. There, he just there, wants the beer. There we go. Okay. There we go. Perfect. There you go. Thank you. All right. Well, um, when you look at it, it's not like the, the Wee Heavies or any of the Porters or any of the Ambers that we've done. You know what it looks like? It looks kind of like a, a Budweiser. I mean, you know, that crisp golden color. Um, yeah, nice golden color. But, you know, it's it, ha it has, it's the same kind of, it's the same premium lager that a Budweiser would be brewed in, same style. But yet, it has a bunch of flavor. Um, hmm. It's able to bring out. Yes. Interesting concept. And what would yeah. you? Uh, what would a you light beer with a bunch of flavor. <laughs> I like yeah. that. I mean, it's. It can be done, folks. And full sale is proven it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's really light. You know, I was trying to smell it. What do you pick up on the nose? Well, it definitely has that lager signature. You've got a little bit of that sulfury lager note. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you've also got a little hot note on the on top there. It's, it, go put your face right up there and smell it. Go there you go. So you can see up oh, my you nostrils. Smell. There you go. That's how you smell uh, right there. Right? Yes. You gotta get it. You gotta in your nostril. Very nice. Bring oh, it yeah. in. And these are good glasses to do that with. Yeah, yeah. Swirl around a little bit. Smell. Open it up. It's nice. That's a really nice light beer. I mean, it really. I mean, I again, we don't talk about training wheel beers or starter beers, but I think anybody could enjoy this. This is, you know, it's got I, a nice flavor. I know it makes you seem kind of uh, uh, handicapped in some way when you say that you know you, you yeah. beers are getting a little too bitter for you over the years. I, I hear some brewers, believe it or not, saying like, "Oh yeah, I can't drink that bitter stuff anymore." But I mean, when you drink a lot of beer, you get to a point where it's just you know it it, it cloys to the palate. Uh, you know, it's nice to take a departure, but it's also nice to take a departure without completely flushing away all kinds of flavor. I mean, it's nice to be able to. To drink a beer that is light, uh, but that does still have a nice hop character. Mm -hmm. yeah. You feel like you're actually drinking a handcrafted beer. Right. Yeah. And I think this one, this one, and this was your pick for it, 2008. If you could have gotten your hand on yeah. it, your favorite beer for 2008. It's it's from my retrospective 2008 favorite beer. Yeah. Um, you know, crisp, clean, delicious. Something I could sit down and have over a session. 
There you go. But where's the drum game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sorry, corny happens. Oh. So, th so there you go. I mean, uh, session logger by Full Sail Brewing Company. Full Sail Brewing Company out of. Uh, it is uh, Hood River, Oregon. Yeah, Hood River, Oregon. that's what I was going to say. Yeah. And it's, Oregon. A very, it's a very good beer. Uh, so Left Coast. I'd like to, uh, as we conclude this, I'd like to uh, uh, invite you to, to follow us up on, follow all of us on Facebook if yep. you want, and also on Twitter. And I also have to give a shout out to some of the folks on Twitter, the uh, Beer Babe and the Beer Wench, who are uh, very good uh, female beer bloggers. And the beer wench, I'm hoping, will come join us during one of these. Uh, Have you been surfing the blogosphere? Well, there's a lot of good beer aficionados, and McGruffis back there behind the camera would be able to uh, <laughs> to attest to that. There's a lot of there's a lot of beer people on Twitter, especially, and, and uh, we're getting a lot of hits there. So. You know, I still don't get that Twitter thing, and I, maybe it's, I'm too young. How about I the, don't know. How about the internet? That weird magical thing that flies through the space. Yeah, I heard about it. Okay. <laughs> we'll Did catch Al Gore create that or something? Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. So there we go. Session. And thanks a lot for joining us. If you want to email us uh, any questions at all, it's pink at beeramerica.tv. And Paul at beeramerica.tv. And a happy 2009. This is our, our Cheers. first few blogs in, but uh, we're, we're hoping for big things this year. Yes? Continuing. Continuing. Getting big bigger. Things. Getting this bigger. Year. So cheers. And leave comments too, by the way. Leave comments. Cheers. Always oh, good. You know what? Cheers. I ran out of beer. So uh -oh. here we go. Yeah. So good you ran out of beer. I ran out of beer. I didn't like it at all. David, no. yeah, bring it in here. Cheers. cheers. cheers.